Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your May mid-monthly general reading. The rest, the reading will not resonate with every Cancer or every cross watcher or whomever. Sun, Moon, Rising, it, if it resonates with you, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Let it go. It's alright. Um, check with another reader. Check your Moon or Rising sign. Um, I have shuffle and prayed over the cards off camera but we'll give the cards a quick shuffle and then we'll get started i'm gonna do a 10 card celtic cross and then three additional support cards for cancer thank you for the love messages well not particularly love but just the messages for cancer thank you for the messages for cancer true accurate messages for cancer messages to govern and guide their lives thank you for the messages for cancer all right here we go i hope that everyone's having a really good month a good start to spring summer will be here soon it feels like summer i'm i'm in atlanta i'm in georgia all right bottom of the deck strength some of you could be dealing with the leo I know some of you are contemplating in the midst of leaving a partner, leaving a situation, leaving a job. You're going to have to have that inner strength to do so uh, <clears throat> because um, you've been in this place for a very long time. Um, for some of you have been in the place for a very long time and it has long expired. Like you should have been gone. All right. So, and then what comes out first? The world. A cycle has ended for you. If the devil pops up here, then you should have learned the lesson. A You've gone as far as you can go here, Cancer. Oh my gosh, Cancer. Let go, let go, let go. Maybe with the King of Pentacles, or this is your energy. This is what crosses you. Uh, maybe there's someone in the midst that um, has a lot of rule and reign over your life. Um, a boss, a husband, a wife. This could be male or female. A king of Pentacles. Um, I just heard he's the Iron Fist. <laughs> um, good husband. Good counterpart. Uh, very logical. Very strategic. This is what's crossing. Maybe, you know, you've learned something here about yourself and now it's time to move on. Okay? Just because um, people are good people doesn't mean that you're supposed to be with them forever. Alright, so the energy that is getting everything moving is the Ace of Wands. Nice. You've had a new passion to start either for self, self-motivation or a new passion to start in a new direction. Um, some of you have had just some passion reignited or ignited somewhere else. Currently, you are the fool. Yeah, you're ready to take that leap of faith, that new development in a different direction, that, that risk, that, um, uncalculated risk. You don't know how this is going to turn out. In the past... You were the high priestess. You were listening to your intuition, holding on to secrets. Um, you had higher knowledge of something, of someone. Or, uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces also. You knew that something needed to transpire here. Going forward, you have the four of wands. Nice. A firm foundation. Um, a solid. Okay. A solid situation. You feel security. You feel secure within or with this person. Could be a fire sign. We got Ace of Wands here. We got the Fool here. Could be an Aries. Going forward. All right. Your power is the Six of Swords to move away from conflict, drama, uh, chaos, turbulence. You could, it could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. To move away physically, mentally, emotionally. But 
you have you have to make the choice to move away external to you is the knight of swords so there's someone it could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius rushing in a little confrontational but giving their truth and it's their truth it's how they feel it's how they have worked it out within themselves within their head you have to accept it for what it is it's not absolute truth but it's their truth they have nothing to give but their truth all right so don't expect more than that at this point hopes and fears queen of pentacles you definitely either you hope for a queen of pentacles uh capricorn virgo Taurus, sun moon horizon or someone who acts in that nature you hope for either a, um a wife the queen of pentacles is a good wife or a good husband it's vice versa you hope to be partnered with know someone who makes really good decisions around money around home around children around just everything they're really solid logical down-to-earth grounded people queen of pentacles she likes luxury she could because he or she can afford the luxury that they love or that they like um because of the decisions that they have made um leading up to becoming the queen of pentacles the outcome is the two of cups wow um nice 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 so um it could be a soulmate relationship or just a mutually um loving relationship a successful relationship i pull one more card on that strength what's the two of pentacles or who is the two of pentacles with oh, two of pentacles no two of cups who is the two of cups with two of cups two of cups eight of swords all right eight of oh eight of pentacles uh, now i'm just being nosy i said one card seven of cup hierophant um it looks like there's this, this a, a successful relationship outside of the one that you may have you may already be in you want to get off the hamster wheel so you got two eights here you you were or you still are on the hamster wheel going around and around you've probably done this for seven or more years seven years is a cycle that eighth year or that one year is the year where you dictate and you dictate change in your life if that's what you want to do um or you'll have another seven years of whatever it is you do or you don't do so if you know something that has not been working out for the last seven months seven years we'll say years we won't go into months seven years a cycle uh this is the year to institute that change to to enact change in, in your life around you uh, because it will dictate how the next seven years will flow for you and they know it'll come up again you know the universe will bring about a situation that you might need to bring up for review again it might have something to do with um, a long-standing relationship a marriage you're confused about what to do with the seven of cups someone brings illusions a disillusionment uh, makes promises just to break them um, and, and it has you on the hamster wheel now but you want to get off you do the getting off will be the nine the nine of swords you now it's mental anxiety but you're getting to the highest level of no longer thinking about this now would be the ten of swords and then the eight of the nine of Pentacles will be okay I'm I'm single or I'm at a place where partnership is um, it's wanted or I welcome it but I'm not at 100% needing it okay so you want to get off the hamster wheel of, of um, being unsure and unclear about your life in your life's direction all right two cards of advice where am I time wise I'm trying to keep these the time low guys all right three cards of advice three cards of advice for cancer three cards of advice adult children okay 
motivation new exercise program right under the deck changing your mind okay so for a good number uh, well okay so this will go either way either you have adult children um and I, yeah you might have adult children and, and they're on your mind they're they're in on your heart there's something surrounding them maybe they can help you help you see clearly in a situation or help you navigate or move through a situation they can help you with motivating yourself or, or the motivation to to move forward maybe oh okay so I just heard some of you need to look at your adults children's lives and and in their lives it might be going pretty well for them whatever you deem well or good and you might want to mirror that you might want to kind of rub off some of that good energy by way of you know letting your adult children help you uh, this could be vice versa you're the adult child cancer and you need to be maybe concerned with parents just something going on with parents um, all right new exercise program is pretty much self-explanatory have the motivation to institute the new exercise program Th this is the spring and summer season so that's pretty heavy on everyone's mind right now exercising and looking fit and all that stuff so that's pretty self-explanatory changing your mind you may have had your mind made up about a situation or a thought you did but now your mind is changing uh, something came in something was ignited for you by way of the ace of wands maybe there was some epiphany with the high priestess in the past that helps you see things differently your your mind is clear uh, uh, your intuition is clear you may be meditating you have grown emotionally i mean anything can help you change your mind um cancer take advantage of the 15 dollars reading where we can expound on your energy we can see what's going on spe specifically with you um yeah i'm not gonna have that up for long it's already overwhelming <laughs> but um yeah take advantage of that use it now and use it later head over to my website that's where you'll book that reading at or any other reading at the website so you'll email me and i'll just direct you to the website all right so head over to tarot of l at g at tarot of l dot com all right thank you thank you thank you for tuning in thank you for the likes the shares the comments the subscriptions it's much appreciated remember cancer when in doubt pray i am praying for you pray for me as well I will talk to you guys in June, all right? Um, it'll be some of your birthdays right, coming up. All right, take care, guys.